Hey, this is Michael with Parsimony, and I thought I would do a demonstration of SOP Box on a fairly universal example. All companies have some employees, all right? And if you hire a new employee, you really want to get that going in the right direction as quickly as you can. You probably spent a lot of time recruiting people, interviewing people, selecting people, making an offer. You've got a, a big down payment in them ahead of time. And then it is so tempting to drop the ball and say, wow, I'll bet you're just automatically going to take off and be successful. But you got to think about it from their point of view, right? They don't know you. They don't know your policies, your procedures. They don't know your people. They're like a brand new kid in a brand new school. And they have a lot to learn. And if you can stick with it a little bit longer and kind of get through that first day, really the first hour, the first day, the first week, you can dramatically change the trajectory of that employee. You can dramatically improve the chances that that person is going to be a player in your organization. And you do this repeatedly and you've just got a much, much better company because you've got a better culture and you've got everybody aligned and it's all going the right way. So I've been thinking about this a lot because frankly, I've worked at a few companies and I've had all those jitters, even as a seasoned managerial professional, I've still walked into situations that I wasn't sure about and, and just felt, you know, like I wasn't sure where we were going. So I've always had my eyes open for improvements to that whole process. And I came across this guy on Twitter. Uh, his name is Harris Fanneroff. And he's quote unquote, the onboarding guy. And he had this tweet that is now his, his pinned tweet. And it's a five step process to onboard new employees. So they show up ready to be productive on day one. And, you know, like I said, he's the employee onboarding guy. He's, this is his gig. He's going to just master that opening section between the time that the uh, offer is accepted to, you know, let's say a week or three in when the uh, employee's been, been doing stuff. So I enjoyed it. He lays it all out. And then the last of in that thread that he pins is the, the summary of the five step process. And he says, first is ask what will keep them. Second is have a senior leader send a video. Sounds like a good idea. The manager then should call to congratulate them. That's the direct manager. Then assign them a buddy or a mentor. And then lastly, make it easy for the new team members to reach out. And that just sounds great. Right? Look at all that stuff that it would be such a huge improvement to 99% of the onboardings that are going to happen you know, this week around the world. You know, how many of them are going to do those five simple things? It just sounds great, doesn't it? Well, but how do you make this actually easy to do, right? And more than that, how can you guarantee that each of those steps gets done in a high quality way? and make sure that, that it all really does happen. Because actually there's a bunch of sub-steps to these as well. So I wanna walk you through all five of the steps. I'll do it quickly, but I want you to see how this could play out using SOP Box. So it starts with ask what will keep them, right? And he says, send them a survey. What brought you here? What will keep you here? What motivates you? And then he says, hang on to this and then refer to it as you work with them going forward. But you're catching them at a really good time. And if you get candid answers here, you're going to have some great insights in how to work with this person. And trust me, everybody's different, right? Not everybody gets motivated by the same stuff. Not everybody came to you for the same reasons. Understanding these things is key. Well, let me just show you real quick what that could look like in SOP Box. If you want to do a survey, you can get a free account at SurveyMonkey and you can build out a survey. I actually did this. I called it the onboarding survey example. But then I also have an SOP on the side here and it says, go to the SurveyMonkey website. And if you take your mouse and you click on SurveyMonkey in step one in SOP box, it takes you to SurveyMonkey. The page opens up, the SOP is there, you're ready to go. Then it says, go to your Gmail account and create a new email to the incoming team member. And you're going to copy that link and send it to them. You can click on Gmail. It'll open Gmail and it will take you to it. And there's some introductory wording that you can paste into the email that you send to them. Do you see how easy this is? You could have this step and every manager in your organization 
could easily follow those steps and send out this survey and you would have this powerful knowledge not just about the kinds of people that you're bringing in because of course it's in a survey you could aggregate etc but even if you're a smaller company here's the reminders about what the steps are here's the survey here's how to do all of it let's go to the next one have a senior leader send them a video well, that sounds pretty cool, right? If you've got a little bit bigger organization and you've just hired somebody onto your outbound sales team, let's say you're the outbound sales manager, wouldn't it be cool for this new person to get a video from the senior VP of sales? Wouldn't it be awesome for that new person to hear a personalized video from the senior VP about that they're glad to have them and all that? It just sounds super cool. So they said, make it as easy as possible for the senior leader. A quick personalized face to camera video can be such a nice warm welcome. And I gotta tell you, I believe in that. It shows that they aren't just a number, but they're actually valued, right? So Sally, the senior VP, sends a note to Martha that says, Martha, I'm Sally, I'm the senior VP. It is so great to have you here, right? You got personalized names on it. it it's just gonna resonate with you that somebody took a couple of minutes to just make a video. Oh my gosh, but how do you do that? How do you get your senior VP to do anything, right? Well, let's use SOP Box and a cool tool called Bonjoro. I think it's maybe 15, 20 bucks a month, something like that, but it allows you to create these videos and you could send a link to your manager that says, hey, I've got a new hire, here's their email address, and here's the SOP. In the SOP, it says, go to Bonjoro. If you need the password, it's in Bitwarden. If you don't have it, click on Bit on the link to Bitwarden and go get it. Then look for the send videos thing. It's a button. It looks like this. It says plus new. <laughs> then you enter the email address, you record the video. The SOP is in there. It walks you through the whole thing. Now your senior VP doesn't need to be reminded about how to do this. They don't need a bunch. It's, it's not hard at all for them. And if they value the idea at all, they will do it. Step three, managers call to congratulate them. Now we're back to you, right? Managers are busy, but it's really great to get a three minute call to the new hire to congratulate them. Think about it. You might've had a couple of candidates that you liked and HR hired one of them and you know, but, but days have gone by, right? It was Monday and you came back into the office and you said, hey, you know, I would like this person first. If you can't get them, get me person number two. I've been in that situation a bunch of times. Well, then time goes by, right? But you know, it's Tuesday, it's Wednesday. Who took the job? Did they come back with their questions, blah, blah, blah. You know, maybe there was a background check that number one failed. And so you're on to number two. You may not know all that stuff. Finally, you get the message that says, hey, they're in. Well, now you want to reach back out, right? And you want to discuss how excited you are to have them join, right? So HR can just send you a task and they can look for a slot in your calendar that's just a couple of minutes long, right? And they can say, Here's our new hire, here's her phone number, here's her email. And by the way, don't forget, here's the link to the SOP on how to do the new hire welcome call. And you go to that SOP and it says, hey, go to your calendar, here's your task for what you're gonna do. Here are the key points that you wanna cover on that call. Real easy, just follow that, it's on the side of your browser. You can just you know pick it up and talk and it works. But don't lose sight of the fact that SOP Box has now gone with us to Bonjuro, it's gone with us to Google Mail. It's with us every step of the way. All right, now you want to assign them a buddy or a mentor, right? You just got off the phone with that and you say, hey, listen, I know that our new hire is going to have a bunch of questions. I want to pair them with somebody in our organization who's been around for a while, but not forever, has a similar personality, somebody that can like see, be, you know, have, be your best friend at work or, or someplace. Uh, I've seen people refer to my, this is my work husband or my work wife. It's just somebody that you're spending a lot of time with, you're close to, and you, you just work really well together. This person will be their go-to person for lots of questions, right? So it's pretty easy. There's an SOP that says, here's the introduction and I'm just gonna go to Gmail and I'm gonna fire up a new message and here are the things that I'm gonna put into that message. And I'm gonna send it out to the mentor and to the buddy as a kind of a mutual introduction. All right, well, with all that, now we're down to number five, make it easy for the team members to connect, right? And you could just send them, again, the same kind of thing, just a couple of key points that you want them to get across. You might include a note on LinkedIn. You know, people like getting a note in LinkedIn that uh, shows activity on their account and all. And it's a way to just kind of get the whole team going. By now you've talked to the new hire, you know something about what they're interested in. You can make a few notes in your email. 
but here's the SOP. Introduce the new hire to the team, right? Get them to off to a good start. Send the email to everybody. Here's a framework for things that you can include in that SOP. So my point is with SOP box, you've got SOPs and checklists that are ready to go on the side of your browser whenever you need them and they'll go wherever you go. 